What's up guys, Loma5 here and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine And like I promised you guys, I have a co-commentator His name is... Nardograph And... Well, oh, let me just turn down the sound from one touch Because me and Nord were just playing around with a load of... Well, she I was, he was just like watching me scream all over the place while my computer didn't play sound So yeah that's uh, the reason why I've, I've been off if you didn't watch the update was because simply ooh, wrong way was simply because um uh, well you know I, I'm moving I've been trying to put stuff up and I've had no internet for the past two weeks but I have it back now Nord is here with me and we're gonna be taking on all the red coin shines and the bonus levels or in the secret levels the bonus shines and the secret levels there we go I knew I could get it right so Let's start off with... Uh, which one is it? Oh yeah, the Hillside Cave Secret. So, Nord, have you ever played Super Mario Sunshine before? I have not, actually. I, I kind of skipped the GameCube. Ah, it's a good system. It Well, it was either that or a PlayStation 2. And the PlayStation 2 was Ep way more accessible for me. Mm. Yeah, I'll admit, the PlayStation 2 does own the GameCube in many regards. But I did get both. I forget why. Oh yeah, I think, it, I think I had a GameCube first, and then my parents got away from PlayStation 2, and then I couldn't stay away from the PlayStation 2, hence why my GameCube collection is so small compared to my PlayStation 2 one. Yeah, if I if I had gotten the GameCube, I would have like one or two games for it, but I got the PlayStation 2, and the games are way cheaper. So I had many, many games for the PlayStation 2, so... You're telling me. I mean, I even got rid of half of my collection when I got the Xbox 360 and still... Right, where are we going? We're going over... Oh god, forget where we're going! Ah! Oh yeah, up there. Right, so... Actually, wait, how do you get up there? I am so confused. <laughs> Great, I don't know how we get up there, really. Oh well, we'll just go up there, I guess. Uh, or, I... I <laughs> be, be prepared. I, we're gonna have a lot of fail, because I haven't played this in two weeks. I've never played it before, so I can't really help you with that. Yay. Oh, well, I didn't practice this game anyway, so... We're both good. <laughs> the only... As I keep telling everyone, the only real practice I've gotten with this was watching Super Mario Sunshine Versus over and over and a few, uh... Of the videos the Jersey Gamer put up. Of the blue coin locations, which helped me immensely. And there was also me in editing. That helped me immensely. Like you when... The last time I saw... Anyone play this game was I think Super Genius streamed it. I think Super a couple Genius. of days ago. Oh. All right, and here we go. Collect the eight Bitcoin before the timer runs out. God help good us all. Good luck. Good luck. Oh God, we're gonna need that good luck. We're gonna need it bad. Oh, see, I'm not even getting. <laughs> I'm not getting the summons uh, right. At even. least on this one, you have blood. Yep. If you've already completed, ah, completed the um, s certain secret shine before, and by secret shine, if you can't remember last time, viewers, it's all this, you know, with the A-bit music remix playing in the background, yeah, because I don't know what to call that, you know, with Mario being, oh my goodness, oh! And so it begins. Because I'm depending too much on flood. <laughs> Uh, and I'm rushing because you have like what 50 seconds to do this. Let's have a look. Yep. Well, at least you don't have the Chucksters. Ah, uh, the Chucksters are. Oh, we got that coming up. Oh, I'm definitely not gonna reach that in this video. <laughs> uh, and here I thought I could do this in less than 20 parts. Why was I wrong? Oh, we're gonna have battle on this video, aren't we? Me going. Oh! Thankfully, we have Nord here, so, like I told you guys, the plan with my co-commentators yeah, and these... Yeah, you will have two people going, <laughs> I, Actually, that might have been interesting, so we're gonna get this one last this time, and that way I'm not going around like an idiot. Alright, now comes the even harder part. Oh, snap! Whew. Oh no, you kidding me? I got 13... 10 seconds, oh snap. We can do this. We can do this, Nord. We can. We can. Does the timer stop when you. Oh, snap! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Yeah! When you got the last one? Yep. Does the timer stops? Yep, the timer stop? stops. If not, it would be impossible. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. I'm so gonna make it in these two milliseconds. Watch me, Nord. Watch me, Nord. 
Oh, I don't have much time here. I gotta hurry. I have these two milliseconds to make it. I don't think I can make it. You know, I'm not. I'm gonna be screwing around now. It's not gonna let me pass. It. <laughs> but uh, stupid stars. So yeah, this. Now you see what it's like when I'm trying to commentate. <laughs> When doing this, now I'm going to get my co-commentator. Yeah, platformers usually require a lot of focus, and uh, yeah, if you're not used to it, you it's a lot of silence. And I'm not used to it because I've done RPGs and shooters so far. This is my first platformer, if you don't count Kingdom Hearts and Sora. <sighs> Sora. Yeah, but Kingdom Hearts is mostly Sora grabbing onto things. <laughs> yeah. Mario, why don't you take lessons from Sora? Why you only take lessons? So yeah, I'm gonna give Nord something to talk about while I fail. And I'm gonna try and commentate with well, him. Well, speaking of platformers, I did do one platformer. Well, I thought you did a I lot did. on your channel. Yeah, I did. But the main big one was Banjo. Banjo-Kazooie? Uh, I did... Yeah, Banjo-Kazooie. Hmm. Definitely. Speaking of that, did you see the... Uh, rare kind of beast, I think, a, a new Banjo game. Huh? Yeah, I think it, I think Josh Jepsen tweeted something like an image with, and he had Banjo Grunty Land or something like that. But I, I haven't heard anything about that hmm. yet. And a lot of things coming about now. Oh yeah, speaking of... What's the one thing that everyone's talking about right now? In fact, I've been talking about it the past two days, and they're probably going to be talking about it a lot more. E3. Yeah. And what happened there. Everyone is everyone is moaning about the PS4 being complete ownage. But let's yeah. go. Let's have an insider on the L peers of the underground and see what they think. So let's start with the Nordograph. Nordograph, what's your intake on the results of E3, and what's your money on for the best console app right now, or up next year? Well... I didn't really accompany live. I saw mostly what the game station and other people tweeted about yeah. the yeah, same about the event. Mm. So I, s but I saw the the PlayStation the PlayStation Four is really the the one that's winning the race so far because although Nintendo showed a lot of good stuff on their <laughs> Nintendo Direct. Did you see that? Oh God! I want the no. Well, it was bound to happen again. I fell through a platform. Physics. What are those? <laughs> yeah, uh, keep... Nintendo cares not for your puny physics. Uh, all right, keep going, Lord, before we lose track. So, uh, Nintendo showed some cool stuff on the Nintendo Direct. They showed more stuff from Bayonetta. Bayonetta 2. Bayonetta. Yeah, I need to play those games. Everyone keeps talking about Bayonetta. Yeah, I, I, did, I didn't have a console to play the first one on. So, they showed a bit more. Uh, Bayonetta now has short hair. That's the main thing I took from it. Hmm? Bayonetta has short hair now. Yep, yep. I didn't know that. Just That's went. the main thing I, I took from the trailer. And they showed the new Smash Bros. Oh, yeah. Which... I, I didn't see that, actually. I need to look at that, because that was actually my main... Yeah, the main thing they showed was Mega Man. He's a character now, um, the Animal Crossing villager. And the joke, uh, I say between quotes, the joke character, uh, the Wii Fit Trainer. Which oh, the Wii Fit Trainer? Went, yes, exactly. Oh, the, no. That woman that they have in the Wii Fit game that has no face and is creepy. <laughs> Uh, oh, I might get this. I might get this. Uh, I was kind of confused when they showed that. Honestly, but are they for real? <laughs> oh, all right. Now I have time a bit to reply to you. Because <laughs> uh, I actually wanted to say there when you said that Mega Man is on Brawl now, I think that's a bit, <laughs> a bit of a mockery to everyone. Because remember, remember when Marvel uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 came out, and everyone was moaning about how Tron Bomb was there, but not Mega Man. <laughs> Yeah, I think but, they're, they're kind of. Well, Mega Man was in a lot more Marvel vs. Capcom games, well, wasn't he? Really? I played a lot. I of remember. Them. I played Marvel vs. Capcom one and two. I remember that, but I don't remember Mega Man. That's odd. 
I know he was at least in one of these fighting games that's crossovers. Something vs. Capcom. Mm. I think... I think it was Marvel vs. Capcom, but I might be wrong. Because I, I don't remember. It but I know he was in some of them. Mm. He might have been a support character. I'm not sure. Mm. Anyway, what are we... But I know he was. I'm sorry. Oh, no. We gotta do this again. Oh, fun. Blooper. Surf. But anyway, uh, the PS4 really took the... the the, the show. Mm. They showed a lot of games, which was what people showed. They showed a lot of indie games. Mm. Which was like a lot. Because you know the whole thing with Microsoft, how they don't let indie self publish on their console? Huh? Ah. Microsoft doesn't let indie self publish on their console. If you're going to put a game on the Xbox Live indie games, you have to publish through them. Or have your own publisher. Well, that's pretty stupid. Yeah, I know. And, and now they are on this tirade against um, against used games and everything. And so the indie game market in that's gonna be dead. So, so really, the Sony really took the the floor. Hmm. There. Which I'm kind of glad. I think they actually got a load of bad press with the uh, PlayStation 3, don't you? Yeah. They did. Uh, they they took a lot of bad press, especially with the when they ha they were hacked. Mm. Especially when they were hacked. Oh oh snap! I don't think I have it this time. <laughs> we're gonna have a load of cuts here. I think. Oh god! Oh, I shouldn't have jumped there. <sighs> For those who don't know, I really, really hate the blooper surfing safari. I hate it. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I might... No, I don't think I have it, do I? I need to make it in less than... Please... No, I don't have it. Uh, What's the target time? I think it's 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, uh... And it just kicks you out. <laughs> you have to go back there again. Uh, so... Alright, so you know what? <laughs> Let's save that for last. <laughs> Let's save that, the bane of my existence. I have given a name to my pain, yet again. And it is the Blooper Surfing Safari. But anyway, let's talk more about E3, because that's what everyone's talking about, pretty much. Because like you said, yeah. I think neither of us have watched the actual streams. You watched it on Twitter, but I actually watched a lot of uh, trailers, actually, and a lot of personal yeah, videos. Yeah, I've watched like some funny. trailers. Our games that interested me that the game station posted on their channel. Hmm. But outside of that, um, I saw some rank round tables they did too. And we all know which game stood out. <laughs> we all know which game stood out at E3, don't we? Yeah. Kingdom Hearts at least 3. For us. Yeah, everybody was. I, I remember seeing the round. I saw the video for the round table that Gerard, you know, the completionist? Uh, no. I'm not making Well, that. he's a big oh. channel in the game station, and and he completed the Kingdom Heart games. You mean like uh, every one of them? Like even the Chain of Memories, Bird by Sleep? Yeah, he, he basically, he's basically a reviewer, oh. and he completes the game 100%. And he completed the whole... The whole... Kingdom Hearts series, hmm. uh, except for the more, let's say, marginalized games like uh, Rick Coded and, uh. but he did talk about the story mostly hmm. of all the games. Yeah, I need so. to I need to play Dream Drop Distance because it's actually I think it was only last week. I think yeah, it was last week because I remember not having any internet and having to use uh, my dad's internet to do it. But Cracking Laser, who people know as a Muggins here. Because he's not. That's his let's play name. Even though he has only put one let's play up, and only one let's play part up. But anyway, he told me that Dream Dot Distance was actually um, a sequel, technically to Kingdom Hearts 2. And I was like, no, nah. they look way too young to be like a sequel. Dream Dot Distance. Yeah, apparently it's a sequel, and I did not know this. I thought it was just a. Um, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, All right, I'm oh I missed. <sighs> but so yeah. I missed. So I missed! But yeah, it was 
apparently it is a sequel to uh, oh, okay. and it's, apparently according to Cracker Things, uh, it's very important as well. It's very important. <laughs> Dreamed Up Distance is the one where they uh, yeah, we they go on the computer thing, right? Or yeah, I think they go in something like that. But then they play as Sora and Riku for the first time, other than Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I played Riku. the I, I played the demo on a on my friends. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking that because don't Sora and Riku look really young in that compared to Kingdom Hearts 2? A bit. I've I've actually read the story and I know it it has some. Timey wimey wibbly wobbly stuff on there. Hmm. But yeah, so I need to play that even though I haven't got a 3DS yet, and I should be because what else did E3 was given some more information? Pokemon X and Y. And yeah, they, they showed a bit on the Nintendo Direct of Pokemon X and Y. They showed the map, right? Huh? They showed map? Correctly. Yeah, I think, I think they did. I think they did. But. They also introduced a new type, which the last time they did that was in Gen 2, so we don't know if this is going to be a hit and miss because... Really? Gen 2? What? Yeah, Gen 2 was... Yeah, the last time they introduced a new type was in Gen 2 when they introduced Steel and... Uh, Steel and... What was the other type they introduced in... Oh yeah, uh, Dark. Yeah, Dark. Yeah. They introduced Dark and Steel in Gen 2, so and throughout, all those, throughout Gen 3, Gen 4 and Gen 5, nothing, but... Now they're introducing fairy type, which is really freaking stupid, if you ask me. <laughs> I, I think so too. Yeah. Uh, I just. They, I think they're running out of ideas. Well, the least they could have done is just not do it. <laughs> just keep going, man. They did that for the other gens. Um, what do we know about? Oh yeah, we don't need to go back there. Not doing blooper surfing safaris to hell with. But that. what I was saying about Gerard is that he's a big Kingdom Hearts fan, hmm. right? And. They showed just just a second. Uh, people coming in. Yeah, bye. I'll be right back. All right. In the meantime, I will interview the viewers by myself. So, uh, I guess I should talk about uh, me moving and such. Well, as I told everyone else on Skype, uh, my new house sucks. It really, really sucks. Because everyone was telling me that my my parents, at least, were telling me that my new room was bigger. <laughs> It's not. It only has one window. My old room had two windows. And let me just find... Is there any other secret levels? I'm sure there was. That's... Hmm. Wait. Ah, apparently there's just one here. Which is fine with me. <laughs> but yeah, it's way smaller. It's like a long hallway. It's like a barely thin. I just moved my chair once. Look, you listen. I just moved my chair once. Okay, you can barely hear my because my microphone is so amazing, but I just moved like once and I hit the freaking desk. I got barely enough room to breathe, technically. So yeah, it's longer, but it's thinner, so it's technically not bigger at all. Especially considering the fact that I only have one windowsill, and I have spider plants and figurines. Which I both really like to have. Because my spider plants, they need the sun, and my figurines need a place to sit up on my desk, which is filled with games! Ah, yeah, because I wanted to have, like, whoa, snap, see! Oh my goodness, please, Mario. Go in. Go, Mario! Yeah! Yeah, my. And the toilet seat. Oh, god, the toilet seat was terrible. It was like. It was meant to be like a super seaside thing, but I'm sorry, I can't sit on something that has seashells on it. Like, realistic pictures of seashells and a realistic picture of a crab. I cannot. What did I miss? Uh, I was just talking to the viewers about my new digs here. Three doors. I heard now. something about the three, the three seashells or something. Yeah, my new, uh, the toilet seat when I moved into this house uh, had seashells and crabs on it, which I cannot, could not sit on. I mean, how could you sit that? I don't think anyone knows how to use the three seashells. <laughs> References. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. Alright, alright. What were we talking about again? Oh yeah, the E. Yeah, Gerard. Uh, he, he's a big Kingdom Hearts fan. Mm -hmm. yeah, so right. he saw the the trailer. He was he and Jesse Cox were on the same video, and they were holding hands. Like, oh my God, it's a new Kingdom Hearts game! It's a new Kingdom Hearts game! And, and then Gerard just throws his hand up in the air, like, oh my God, finally! Yeah, when, I think that's what everyone was thinking when they saw that. Finally. Yeah. Uh. How many games did they launch? Like. Uh, let's see, the chain of the notch. Uh, recoded, Burp by Sleep, 330 out of 2 days. Um, well, the remakes? 
the remakes, the... Oh yeah, there was... There was a... three remakes, right? I, I think might so. be mistaken on the number. Yeah, because I do remember that they re Actually, they did recently release um, one which paired up Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2, but Kingdom Hearts 1 was like... Better HD, and then instead of turning the camera on and I, it was like with a right analog stick. Yeah, yeah I think, I'm gonna I think they were. They are going to announce the the 1.5. They announced the 1.5. Yeah, usually too. Yeah, I don't care about 1.5. I want free. Another another thing that was really excited about E3 is they finally announced what the hell are they doing with Final Fantasy Versus. And honestly, not Fantasy much versus. with. The, and actually, not much with the. Yeah, not much. Team. They just refurbished the game, and they're launching at 15. Finally. Yay! I'm actually not having much hope of Final Fantasy these days. No, but the game looks awesome. I will say that much. But I, so I did, am. So did, so did 13. So did 13. So did 12. Well, it's not the same team. That's a big thing. <laughs> well, well, see what it's they a completely have. different. Different studio that they're using, like they're, they have like I think two teams making Final Fantasy games. Two teams. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Hmm. They have two different teams making Final Fantasy games, and Final F and the uh, 15 one is is being made by a complete different team, and apparently there's people that work on Kingdom Hearts on it too. So. Oh. Alright then, you got, me, you got me interested. Because, honestly, I gave up on Final Fantasy after uh, 11. Well, I actually kind of liked 11. I actually kind of liked 10 as well. I think a lot of people actually liked 12 despite it being... I really liked 10. 10. I really like, liked 10. Uh, for me, I was just a step down from 9. Because 9 is probably... Final Fantasy 9 is not only my favorite Final Fantasy game, it's also one of my top 10 RPGs of all time. It's just amazing, I love it. Well, I never got around to playing 9. I you did should. play a bit of 8. 8 which is... Which was horrible. Yeah, 8... I like the characters in 8 a bit. But then again, I thought that Leon was a bit of a... Uh, he didn't seem like something uh, new. He just seemed, I was just like, oh my god, Cloud again. <laughs> uh, that's what a lot of people were thinking. Cause, but then we have Zidane. And I was like, oh my goodness. He is so cool. And oh my goodness. Oof, oh, I left the uh, coin over there. Oh, I, I almost pulled an attacking toucans. Because attacking toucans made that exact same mistake! When he was doing this. <sighs> it's funny how I remember their mistakes, but I don't remember their success! Alright, so... Oh yeah, so yeah, Final Fantasy 9 you really should play, because Zidane is completely new fresh air. And they introduce a load of plot twists, and I mean really new ones. And I don't want to say them, because, the spoilers, and, are you kidding me? No, no, okay, we're gonna have to really... Oh, yeah! Clutch, man, clutch. Yeah! Mm! seconds. You just got pwned, FTW, yes! I was quiet then. Yeah, that was just... Was that, that, that tense. That was epic. Uh, speaking of epic, everyone should know so by now. I, Ooh, Final Fantasy Seven, I I really didn't like, but Final Six is my favorite. Um, yeah, I don't know why a lot of people like Seven. I guess because it was the first 3D one, I guess. Yeah, I think it's just nostalgia, nostalgia for most people. Yeah, but Nine is just fantastic. You know how in Final Fantasy Eight it was all about um, weapons to level up your character in a way, and items yeah. and such. Well, in Final Fantasy Nine, they do that same thing, but completely different. Um, let me just find Kind this. of like the Crystarium and the Sphere Grid, how they're similar, but, yeah, but not really. Yeah, um, because your weapons actually, when you get skill points about you get experience and some points. Um, I'm going to say skill points because there's so many points to keep track of in the video game universe. Uh, special points, ability points, esper points. Ah! But yeah, um, you get those kind of points about them. Those points go into all the abilities that you have on your weapons and your... Uh, armor even, yeah, like always a bomber, and they teach you certain skills, and more points you get, obviously they level up, they all have different amounts of points that you need, some need 10, 15, 20, and it gets obviously higher. It's kind of like the materials from 7, but yeah. you can level them up. 
Yeah, it's well. Actually, no. You just learn the skills, and when you're done with that, you unequip them and put something else on, which really does put something else into. Oh, what am I, oh yeah, I need to find out what fruit Yoshi wants. That's what I was doing. But, um, ah, sorry, I have a, I have a really bad case of brain farting. <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah, that's really something new to buying weapons because and armor because usually in RPGs you're like, oh, I'll buy armor so I can do like 10% more damage in battle. Yay. But this is like, you will learn all your skills from this! And you can learn this skill, this Firebreaker skill, this awesome skill! And a lot of them are just like, skills in battle, and some of them are like, passive skills. Like, some are like, well you do like, a THOUSAND TIMES MORE DAMAGE AGAINST FLYING ENEMIES! And I think that is just awesome. Yeah. Which is, and I that's... think I've seen this system before on another game, which is not a Final Fantasy game, but I don't remember which. Hmm. Yeah, alright, so... But the system is familiar to me. <sighs> You know, I want to talk about Kingdom Hearts 3 because it's a bit Sorry. I want to ask you, Nord, and this is a big question that uh, oh, oh yeah, it's over there. I forgot. This this is one question that I think everyone on everyone's minds. What okay. world what worlds do you want to see in Kingdom Hearts 3? Damn, I kind of want to see Tronmar. It's one of my favorite worlds. Keep in mind that this also, like, the development team are only just doing it this year. Keep that in mind as well. But, like, newer franchises, you mean? Yeah, it's only the started development this year. Like, they said it's in development right now. I'm not sure, like, of... I'm not really in touch with present-day Disney. Hmm. Well, so I'm not really it's, it's sure. Uh, I think everyone needs to put into mind. Disney... Bought well, Star Wars. Yes, yeah, there, there is that. Disney is that. bought Star Wars, and there's also Wreck It Ralph. It was actually one comment. Uh, I yeah, I think they'll definitely put Wreck It Ralph, considering the the success that movie did. Yeah, because I, I saw that comment on the actual Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. Someone said, "I am going to die if they put Sugar Rush in Kingdom Hearts 3," and so will I, because it's just freaking awesome. I think it would be really awesome if we had a lightsaber keyblade. Oh, oh snap, that would just be it. I don't care if a Keyblade has like, zero damage and zero uh, magic, and also you do no damage to all enemies, period, because this Keyblade is so awesome. I would still have it on! Because, <laughs> come yeah. on, Lightsaber Keyblade, that's that's my Keyblade, actually! That's my... Persona's... Yeah, I'm gonna say that, Persona, because that's the actual wording for it! Whoa! Oh snap! It's okay, we got 30 seconds left. Yeah, because have you seen my, um... Thumbnail for the Kingdom Hearts let's play that I did. Seen this keyboard? Yeah, I, th I think I did. Yeah, he has a lightsaber yeah. eh, bit at the end. <laughs> Alright, come on, baby. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Go, go, go. I'd love to see ah. some Marvel stuff, maybe, but I don't think they'll do it. Oh my god, Mario, don't fall off. Mario. Ow! Oh! Whew. I, I, I really wish they do some Marvel stuff, but I don't think they would. Oh, that, wait, Dis oh yeah, Disney do own Marvel now, don't they? Yeah, for, huh. all, for actually a lot longer than they yeah. own yeah. LucasArts. Yeah, well, but wait, let me get this... Uh, then again, don't like um, Square Enix have to like give them... I mean, pay more money to have that certain... Bit well, I f yeah, I think they need to pay for the licensing, but... Way more licensing fees, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, probably. We're at 28 minutes, so... I don't know. We're at 28 minutes, so I don't know if we want to end it here or not, because... Next, we're taking on Serena Beach's Secret Shine. <laughs> well, the... The verses are usually 30 minutes, so... I think you already did your 30 minute video, didn't you? Yeah, I already did the 40 minute one, yeah. Thank you, Attacking Toucans, for failing so much at Gelato Beach. So, you know, because we're at 28... Actually, we're at 29 minutes now. Ooh. So yeah, ooh, let me get a good, very nice ending shot here. So, next time on Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine, we're going to get the secret shines in Serena Beach. So, until then, this has been me, Lama5, and... Nordograph. Saying bye-bye. Bye. Later.